Today on our 2012 Toyota 4Runner, we'll be doing a test fit of the Stromberg Carlson cargo carrier. That's part number CC-100. As you can see, it's a sizable carrier. Its dimensions are 23 by 60, plenty of anchor points to tie down our cargo. It has a 500 pound weight capacity, so we're good to go there. Let's go ahead and get some measurements, starting back here with our ground clearance. Looking at about 17 and a half underneath there. And our closest point, about seven inches from here to our bumper. Overall, to the Forerunner, we've added about 31 inches. Now, if you look over here on our Forerunner, our exhaust exits straight out, about 10 inches away from our carrier. So you just want to be aware of any heat sensitive materials that you might be carrying on this side of the carrier that uh, your exhaust could, uh, could damage. Let's check our breakover point. That looks to be about 17 inches right around that area. And what you want to do is you want to be aware of anything you might be stacking on your carrier when you get to that 17 inches in height that your rear hatch might come in contact when you try to open that up. All right, now our carrier is secured with a pin and clip here, as you see. The pin and clip is not included with this carrier. It's going to be part number PC3, and you can find that on our website here at eTrailer.com. And that's going to complete our test fit, the Stromberg Carlson Cargo Carrier, part number CC-100, on our 2012 Toyota 4Runner. Let's see how that carrier did on our test course. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side-to-side -side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then on to our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or uneven pavement. And last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway.